Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, please join in welcoming the first female Premier of Ontario, Premier Kathleen Wynne. Kathleen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Canada. <laughs> Thank you very much. It is such an honor to be here. I have to say it is wonderful to be able to look out on this fantastic gathering of caring people who are working together to a common goal, which is to strengthen our publicly funded health care system across the country. Thank you so much for your work. Thank you. So good morning, bonjour, Ani, bojo. I want to just say that uh, before I begin to acknowledge that we are gathering on the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the New Credit this morning. And I want to thank Linda Haslam Stroud for her kind introduction, but I want to thank her for her tireless work to make sure that we all stay on track, because that's basically what Linda does. <laughs> thank you, Linda. I want to thank the Canadian Federation of Nurses Unions for bringing this conference to Ontario, uh, for uh, our being able to showcase our wonderful nurses and our wonderful province. I know that there are nurses who work in the riding that I represent in Don Valley West. I think there was a Sunnybrook nurse in the, uh, in the video. Thank you each and every one of you, and I hope you have a, a really good opportunity to share experiences, and that's why these, uh, that's why these gatherings are so important. So I'm, I'm thrilled to be here because of the work that you do, and I you know, I know there's a, there's a high IQ in this room, but there's a really high EQ in this room. Your ability to deal with people and understand people's needs is huge. So I want to thank you for that, because you do that every single day. You're doing a great job across the country, serving as the voice of tens of thousands of nurses and student nurses across Canada. So the second reason that I am thrilled to be here, apart from the fact that I so believe in what you do and your capacity to do it, is that I really believe in organized work. You know, I, am, I believe in the organization of people who work to a common end, and Linda and I have had the opportunity to meet on a number of occasions, and I think this is a very important moment for organized labor in North America, if I might say, because there are lots of forces that would want to undermine the gains that we have collectively as a society made because people who work came together and said, we want safe workplaces, we want good working conditions, because that's in the best interest interests of people. That's in the best interest of all of the people of the country. So this is an important moment. It is wonderful that you are strong and that you are working together. And I, you know, as a member of government, you all know that we don't always agree. There are always opportunities for us to have a, a difference of opinion. But if we don't find a way to work together, then we are not going to come to the best solutions for the people of this country. So I want to make, reaffirm my commitment, and Linda knows this is my commitment here in Ontario, to work with the people who are delivering the, the very fundamental services that the people of this country need. And my commitment is to continue to work with you in your organization. So thank you very much. So, so nurses are a vital source of strength for our health care system. And what you do is very close to my heart. Le personnel infirmier est une source essentielle de vigueur au sein de notre réseau de soins de santé. Et ce que vous accomplissez me fait, me fait tellement chaud au cœur. Some of you know that my youngest daughter will begin her studies in nursing in September. She, yes. <laughs> She wants to focus on geriatrics. I said, Maggie, that's a very good idea. Because <laughs> you will never be out of work. Um, and uh, she, the picture she's got, she had to, she's had one career. She went through school. She's been teaching English as a second language, which I told her was going to be a difficult job. But anyway, she's decided that in order to be able to move across the country and have a, a portable and uh, worthwhile career, she wants to go into nursing. So she had to go back to a high school day program and get her sciences. And the picture that she's got in her room as she goes through this process, because she's starting in September at, at Ryerson, but she she 
uh, she's got a picture of her paternal grandmother, so Jean Sutton, who worked as a nurse in the war in England, in London, and I'm pretty much sure she was a midwife because she was, she was delivering babies all over London, and uh, so she's got that picture of Jean in her little hat um, to, uh, to inspire her. So I'm so proud that she, uh, she's going to work to join your ranks. I'm so proud of her choice. And what I want as the, as the leader in Ontario is I want everyone in this room to be excited about the future. I want, I want everyone to feel supported uh, in the important role that you play in our communities across Canada. You are the front lines of our health care system. You provide a service that's fundamental to who we are as a nation and to the values that we hold dear. From the day our children are born to the day our parents need care, you're there, you are guiding us through those most joyous and most difficult moments. You are the faces that we, that we work with. And this is coming from the daughter of a, a doctor, you know? My dad was a GP, but in our house, I knew that it was the nurses. He would talk about the ER, the eMERGE nurses. He would talk about the OR nurses as the people who made it work. He knew that. And so I, he did, he did. And so I knew that it was the nurses that were the people who were going to make the health care system where you take care of us. So I want to make sure that as government and as leaders, in, uh, as politicians, that we take care of you. We want nurses' workloads to be fair and just so that you can do your jobs and take care of yourselves and your families. Because I know you can't take care of everybody else unless you can take care of yourselves. You just can't. And so as we work to make health care spending more efficient in Ontario, I want you to know that these changes will not be made on the backs of our nurses. We'll continue to focus on quality care while increasing accountability and the integration of services. We have to do that. We'll help you do your job so that you feel empowered and you can be effective in your day-to-day -day roles. So that's why we're working with the Ontario College of Nurses to ensure that nurses' scope of practice in this province can further match their expertise. C'est la raison pour laquelle nous travaillons avec l'Ordre des infirmières et infirmiers de l'Ontario pour veiller à ce que le champ d'exercice du personnel infirmier puisse encore mieux correspondre à leur expertise. This means that nurses will soon be able to dispense medication in specific circumstances. This was a change that nurses advocated for, and we listened, and we're going to continue to listen, working with our nursing partners to identify other opportunities to expand the services that you offer. I also understand that in order for you to deliver quality care, you need and deserve a safe, healthy working environment. And so we've invested in promoting best practice guidelines and new initiatives that were led by nurses like you to improve the environment that you work in every day. I'm, I'm one of those people who believes that if we don't talk to the people who are doing the work, then we're not going to get the right answers and we're not going to put the right practices in place. So it's so important that we join together to address these issues. Since I was sworn in as Premier and before as, a, as an MPP and, a, and as a Minister, I've had the chance to visit many hospitals and healthcare facilities across the province. And it's always helpful. Every time I go, I learn, I hear another piece of the puzzle, I hear about the issues that you deal with and about the realities that you face. And I'm constantly impressed by the way that nurses innovate and push themselves to improve patients' care. You are the ultimate multitaskers. That's what you do. You carry all these balls. You work hard and you adapt and that's why we're adapting too. We'll be making an unprecedented investment in home and community care to take the pressure off hospitals and emergency rooms while giving the people of Ontario support the support and attention they need. That kind of transformation is not easy and I recognize that. It's very difficult for a big system to go through that kind of change. But we have to do it and we need to do it with your support. We're working to reduce the cost of prescription drugs by by moving forward on a, a pan-Canadian price-setting initiative. And once fully in, implemented, that plan could produce up to $100 million in savings that then we can reinvest in the health care system. That's not money that gets taken out of the health care system. That's money that we need to make sure that we deliver services in the best way possible. 
Nous sommes également en train de travailler à réduire les coûts de médicaments d'ordonnance en donnant suite à une initiative visant à établir les coûts de médicaments à l'échelle canadienne. We want everyone to have, a, to have access to the medication that they need, so we've also reformed the prescription drug system to provide patients with better access to lower cost generic drugs, at the same time increasing annual funding to the drug system as a whole, and that's what I mean by reinvestment. We've lowered the cost of generic drugs by 50% since the summer of 2012 because we want those prices to be fair, and I'm determined to continue to provide the best care possible and protect the gains that we've made in our health care system. So we face budgetary constraints. There is no doubt about that. These are many of the same pressures that are being confronted across the country. But that doesn't mean that we give up on a system that defines us as a nation. I was just recently, uh, just this past weekend, I was uh, meeting with governors, the Great Lakes governors and premiers, um, talking about the quality of, uh, of the Great Lakes and the, ec the economy of those uh, communities. But I have to say, we spent time talking about health care because, as you know, as soon as you cross the border into the States, and I have a sister who lives in Boston, it's a very different conversation than it is here. So this is something that defines us as a nation, our commitment to a public funded health care system. And it doesn't mean putting more pressure on the nurses and, and that serve our families. So we're going to focus on getting better value for the money that we're spending so we can all work better, not necessarily harder because I'm pretty sure you guys are working as hard as you can. I look out at this room and I see nurses from right across the country. Now I see the Alberta nurses clearly in their red. <laughs> and I understand we've got, is Nova Scotia here? And Saskatchewan. Where's New Brunswick? Okay. Where's Ontario? All right. <laughs> Where, who have I missed? Where, where's Newfoundland Labrador? <laughs> Hello. And BC? All right. Who have I missed? Manitoba? All right. PEI? All right. Uh, have we got territories here? Have we got Yukon? Yukon? Northwest Territories? Nunavut? Okay, Nunavut, there they are. Hello! <laughs> and Quebec, where's Quebec? Is she here? Okay, show Quebec some love, okay? <laughs> Did I get everybody? <laughs> okay. So I see you from across this fantastic country, and I know no matter where you work, you're bound together by your absolute commitment to your jobs. So I want to thank you on behalf of Ontario and on behalf of my own family and my own constituents. Thank you so much. And see, au nom de notre province et de ma famille et de mes constituents, permettez-moi de vous remercier. We'll continue to work with you and all of our healthcare partners. Thank you for being committed to each other and to the people of this country. Merci, miigwech.